Hey everybody, Mike from RV Blogger here, and today we're going to cover the must-have items that we need on our RV. Hey guys, today we're going to cover all the must-have items that we carry on our RV, and we want to let you know what they are so maybe you can carry them on your RV too. Now, today we are in a very unusual camping setup. It happens sometimes though where all of the hookups end up on the wrong side of our RV. They should be on the driver's side, which is where the water hookups are, the electric is, and the sewer line. But in this particular campsite, everything is on the wrong side of the RV. So today it gives us a good chance to show you why we have some of the things that we carry on board. Come on around to this side with me. First of all, one of the most important items that we carry on board is our Rhino Flex Rhino Blaster. This thing connects right up with your black and gray tank and it allows us to be able to flush out our black tank and our gray tank after every use. All we need to do is have another water line. This can shoot water right into the black or gray tank and uh, flush out those tanks, which makes maintaining them really, really easy. Um, there are two kinds of Rhino Blasters. One kind has this gate valve on it this is the kind that you need to buy because this allows you to cut the water off here. You can shoot water in here and fill your black tank. And that way, uh, this, get, this valve holds all the water in. If this valve wasn't here, as fast as you shot water in there, it would run out the pipe and into the septic system, which is no good. So that's our first item. Second item we have are these orange gloves. These are the best gloves I've ever used. They are eight mils thick, which is very, very thick rubber. They're puncture resistant. They're just very, very nice. They don't rip. And they also have this grid pattern built into them. So it's really easy to grip things like the plastic fittings. They're kind of slippery. These help you to be able to grip everything much easier. The third item that we think is super, super important is to have a Rhino Flex sewer hose. Now we love these because they're really, really tough. You can actually step on them and not hurt them. And uh, they hold up very, very well. They also accordion up so they're easy to store. Uh, and not only do we carry one, but we carry two. Because in the situation we're in today, we have to run our sewer hose from the black tank uh, inlet under the RV to the other side where we would dump the tanks. And we need two hoses to be able to reach that distance. Let's go take a look on the other side too. I almost did it again. <laughs> <laughs> I hit my head on the bike rack on the first time around. So here's our extension hose that comes through from the other side of the RV. The other nice thing about these um, sewer hoses is they come with the clear plastic elbow, which is very important so you can see if you're flushing your tank if the water's clear or not and one other really important thing to make sure that your black tank stays in order and all of the septic related stuff is toilet chemicals we use aquachem toilet chemicals in our toilet this helps all of the waste and toilet paper to break down it also um, I guess kills the bacteria that's in there and helps eliminate odors, things along those lines. So this is a fantastic product to use. When you look it up on Amazon, it's got all five stars and it's got like a couple thousand reviews. It's a fantastic product. The other thing we use, and some people may not even realize you have to use this, is toilet paper specifically for RVs or I guess it can be used for boats too. But uh, we use the Aquasoft toilet paper as well. This stuff um, is very good because it breaks down very quickly in your black tank. It doesn't create any clogs and it's specifically made for a black tank situation. So it won't clog up your black tank and it's easier to maintain. So we recommend this one as well. So some other items that we think are must have items are an extra electric line. Now our electric line for our RV 
you know, it goes pretty far, almost the length of the RV. But in this particular situation where we're camping today, and also in another one, another situation where we just camped earlier in the week, we couldn't reach the electric line with just our electric line that comes from the RV. In the other situation we were in, I was trying to park in the flattest spot I could, and it was just too far from the electric hookup. So we always keep a second electric line on board. And that way, we never run into a situation where we don't have enough line to make it from the RV to the electrical hookup. Now, speaking of electrical hookup, we also use a surge protector wherever we go. We use a Progressive Industries. We're set up with a 30 amp in our RV. Some amps, some RVs are 50. <clears throat> But either one is fine for your RV. Just pick the right one. But a surge protector is really important because sometimes in a campground, the electrical system may not be quite up to snuff. And one of two things could happen. One, you could get a surge of electricity, which could also happen during a thunderstorm. And if you get too much electricity flowing through, you could blow out your appliances. You could hurt your refrigerator you could hurt a TV I mean there are a lot of electrical items that are inside your RV this protects everything so we highly recommend that you get a surge protector to plug your electric line into and it and it just plugs right into the standard outlet on your electrical hookup we have several items that we use that we consider must have for our fresh water system as well there are actually three of them right here um, one of them is we have a 90 degree hose fitting so that instead of the hose plugging straight into the RV and then having to arc out of there, which puts a lot of stress, uh, pressure on your hose, we use a 90 degree fitting. The next thing that we have is our water filter. And uh, campground water is not always the best. Um, and these help to eliminate any sediment, any rust any uh, minerals that build up in the campground water before they go into your RV water system. And the last thing is the water hose itself. And we use a white Never Kink hose. Um, we think they're fantastic. Um, I like the fact that it's white. I never confuse it with any other hoses. I only use my white fresh water hose for fresh water. Never use it for septic, never use it for anything else. All I use it for is fresh water, and I recommend you do the same. Not only do I have one of these on board, though, we keep two fresh water hoses on board, too. They're each 25 feet long, and when we end up in situations like this where we're backwards and we need the extra distance, we can make sure we have enough hose to make it to our water hookup. Now, at the water hookup, I also have another must-have item that you'll need for your RV. And that is a water pressure regulator. Now, sometimes when you're at a campground, they may have water pressure that seems really, really high. And sometimes it is. And so if you run water into your RV with the pressure too high, you can have leaks, you can blow out plumbing uh, parts, and uh, really damage your plumbing system. So a pressure regulator ensures that you only get a certain amount of pressure coming from the faucet. And we have our set right at about 40 pounds. It comes preset at 45, but I like to run it at about 40. The nice thing with this is, I'm not guessing about what the water pressure is. I know before I bought a pressure regulator, I would turn the water on and it would pour out of there like crazy. And then I would try to just guess what the water pressure was so I didn't hurt anything in the RV. But having a water pressure regulator really is the way to go. Just hook it up, turn on the water. It's already preset to 40 pounds. I don't have to worry about any of my fittings blowing out or any leaks popping up. So it's a really, really great must-have item in your RV. These next items that we use in our RV are also must-have items, but they're more safety related. And um, one of them is wheel chocks. Now, you know, as you can tell in this particular campsite, we are kind of parked on a hill and we're pointing downhill and so we have a wheel chock in on each of the back wheels just in case anything happens with the emergency brake or we're walking around inside and we create anything that might 
cause the emergency brake to pop and all of a sudden we're rolling down the hill. So in this case, uh, shocks are super, super important. They're also important anytime you need to go under your RV. And in this case, I had to sort of reach under the RV to pull my sewer hose through. You really should have your chocks in place before you do anything under your RV, just to make sure you stay safe. The next thing that we have are our leveling blocks. So again, we were, we were pointed downhill in this particular campsite. So we just threw a couple of leveling blocks under here. We actually like to point downhill a little bit because our bed is in the back of the RV and that way I can sleep with my head higher than my feet. So I like that. But we have to get the RV level enough also so that it doesn't affect or negatively affect our RV refrigerator, which by the way needs to be pretty level for it to work properly. Now our cell phones, our iPhones, happen to have little levels in them. There's an app for that. We use that level to determine how level we are. When we first got here, we were at about three and a half degrees. Your refrigerator needs to be at three degrees or less. So we threw a couple of leveling blocks under here and got it down to about 2.1 degrees. So we know the fridge will work properly. We know we'll be able to walk around inside comfortably. And we know we'll be able to sleep comfortably at night just being downhill a slight bit. A couple of other items that we use every time we set up our RV are the step to get in and out of the RV and our grass welcome mat to clean our shoes before we walk in and out. This makes a huge difference. Every time we walk in and out of the RV, we scrub our feet off nice and good. And then we have a step here to get up into the RV. Without this step here, it's just too far of a drop down from here to the ground, especially since we had to chalk up or block up the front wheels. So both of these items are must haves for sure for any RV, camper, whatever you're gonna use. We use them all the time. Some other really important items to keep on board, we certainly consider them to be must have items on your RV. One of them is an emergency roadside kit. When you are in the middle of nowhere, it's pitch black out, and uh, you need to pull over, or your battery goes dead, or you need you get stuck in a ditch and you need a tow, you will be glad you had an emergency roadside kit. This has a little reflector. It even has a little first aid kit. It's got jumper cables, tow rope. You can bust a window open with this thing. It has a flashlight, which... You know, it's not battery operated, so it works all the time wherever you are. A multi-tool with a wine opener, which is absolutely a must-have must item. And a pressure tire, tire pressure thing. A pair of gloves. I mean, it's got everything that you could need if you ever have a roadside emergency. And uh, it just comes in handy, and we highly recommend that everybody keep one on board. The next thing that we find also a necessity is a first aid kit and um, we found this out the hard way our little grandson Rocco was out camping with us one time and he fell and cut his knee and we did not have a first aid kit on board the RV and it was you know kind of kind of sad not having one we're sitting there trying to bandage the poor little kid up and we didn't have any uh, like, you know, sting relief or alcohol pads to clean him out. We didn't have the right bandages to clean his knee up. But this has everything that you'll need and it's in a small pack. We just keep it underneath the vanity in the bathroom and we always have it if we need anything at all. So it's a great little kit to keep on board. It even has a little kit you can take with you if you go on a bike ride or something like that. It has extra little bandages and stuff in here for when you're away from the RV. So another must have item for sure. And then we have, believe it or not, had it backwards, damper it. Now, we have damper it in our RV all the time. We keep it in the bathroom. Sometimes, anytime we park it and it's closed up for any long period of time, we keep damper it in there. It just keeps the humidity out of the RV. Um, we don't want mold growing in there. We certainly don't want excess levels of humidity inside the RV. 
and we just find this product works really, really great for us. Now these next items that we're going to talk about aren't exactly must-have items, but we use them every time we go camping. First of all, we have our picnic table cover. And let's face it, when you go camping in, in a campground, you very often will find a very dirty picnic table. And I don't even know what's on the picnic table sometimes. But anyway, we like to use these picnic table covers. It keeps things cleaner. When we sit down, we're cleaner. And uh, just nice to have on board. We use them all the time. And another thing we use is our propane-powered coffee pot. We find ourselves sleeping or camping in state parks very often or places where there are no hookups, but there's also a generator restriction. Maybe you can't turn the generator on in the morning until 10 o'clock, for example, and then it needs to be off by 8 o'clock at night. Well, we get up at 6, 7, 8 o'clock in the morning. We want a cup of coffee. We can't turn the generator on to run the electric coffee pot. What do we do? We use our propane powered coffee maker and we love this thing. The way it works is it's got a metal bottom to it. There's no cord. You just put it right on top of the stove in your RV or you can put it on a camp stove outside of your RV. Put it right over top of a propane burner. Turn that on. Other than that it works just like an electric coffee maker. You put your coffee in the basket put your water in here the propane heat percolates the water up through the coffee basket it drips down into your coffee pot makes fantastic coffee every time so we we always keep this on board and we use it a lot it's been a real lifesaver for us we can't live without coffee these next couple of items we take with us every time we go camping as well one of them is our zero gravity chairs and um, we absolutely love these things. They come with little drink holders on the side that also can hold your phone. They can hold another, maybe even a, a laptop in here, a couple of drinks. Um, but they are super, super comfortable, most of all. This particular chair, I've never been able to fall asleep in a lounge chair ever. And in this one, I can fall right to sleep. It's that comfortable. Um, so we use these chairs all the time. We went camping one weekend and we didn't have our regular camping chairs with us. All we had was our zero gravities. And I'm glad it worked out that way because these are all we use now. We don't even use our other chairs anymore. These things are fantastic. Another thing we found that we always use is our camping table. And these are fantastic little tables. They have four drink holders in them. Sometimes we'll sit here and eat dinner on our table. There's a little extra spot underneath for storage. I'll throw my uh, lighter under there, or bug spray, napkins, whatever. We can just throw it underneath there. Um, and the nice thing is it folds up. We actually have two. But when it's all folded up, it fits in this nice little packet. And it's easy to carry. So we use them all the time. We, we keep one in the car, we keep another one in the RV. And they're fantastic products to use. And then last but not least is my fire poker. And Susan bought this for me for Christmas because I would always be struggling when it came to poking my fire. <laughs> <laughs> and I would get a stick and I'd be, you know, using it and it would break and then it would catch on fire and everything else. So she finally took pity on me and bought me a fire poker. It's a redneck fire poker too, so that's even better. This thing is great. It's got a little handle. It has a log gripper. So not only can I tend my fire, but I can actually grip a log, move them around. You know, this thing is really, really fantastic. So not exactly a must-have item, but I never go home. I never go camping without it. But wait, there's more. And that is our windshield cover. Now we love this thing. And I'll tell you why. It's two gigantic reasons. Number one is with a Class C RV we used to have to close the curtain behind the cab and it makes the inside of the RV feel so small and you also can't get to the space where the driver and passenger seats are, the whole dash area, so it's really inconvenient. So this helps to alleviate that problem because now the cover goes on the outside, 
we have all that usable space inside the RV that we now get to take advantage of as well. And the other really big deal is sometimes we wish we had more windows on our RV so we could open them up and get air blowing through the RV and keep it nice and cool. We don't like to run the air conditioner unless we really, really have to. And so we weren't really able to solve that problem. I, I mean, I was really considering adding windows to the RV, but that's really not practical. So Susan found this windshield co cover. So one thing that it does, which makes it really outstanding, is it wraps around to the driver side and passenger side doors. And it covers the door with a screen. So we can open the passenger side and driver side windows. Air blows through the RV now. We don't have bugs coming in the RV. It has these little flaps that you can fold up, you know, if you want to have some privacy in there. But if you're just looking for airflow, we keep ours down all the time. And also, the front has a flap that will fold down if you want light in your RV instead of privacy as well. So this has been a fantastic product. Every time we go camping, we use it. Again, it's not a must-have, but it's a really nice to have. That's for sure. So that's our list of must-have and almost must-have items that we use every time we go camping. We sure hope that you'll be able to use them as well. We're going to have links to all of the items that we discussed today in the description below, or you can also check them all out on our gear page at rvblogger.com. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up, and also please subscribe to our channel. We always get excited when we get new subscribers. Please check out some of our other YouTube videos, and be sure to check us out at rvblogger.com. So for Mike and Susan, see you next time. So I just hit my head on a thing and it hurts. Hi, baby. I'm waiting.